This week on The Muse, the Paris Valley Chamber of Commerce celebrates the 111th Business Awards and installs new members. We've got the latest from our good friends at the Chamber. And Paragon Park opens a new disc golf course, and we know you'll want to add this one to your list of activities happening here in Paris. Plus, as we all near the fall election, Team Paris has everything you need to know about Measure A. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. The City of Paris Senior Center, in partnership with the Chamber of Commerce and HCAG, invites you to a free health and senior resource fair coming up on Wednesday, September 27th, 2023, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Bob Glass Gym. Free services include blood pressure and pulse checks, BMI readings, and a whole lot of other health options. There will also be representatives from local doctor's office and the California Telephone Access. Also, free lunch will be available for the first 100 attendees. For more information on this Health and Senior Resource Fair, contact 951-663-1060. And on Friday, August 18th, Paris Mayor Michael M. Vargas, First Lady Julie Vargas, City Mayor Manager Clara Miramontes, Economic Development Director Michelle Ogawa, Community Services Director Sabrina Chavez and many other city staff enjoyed an evening celebrating the 111th Paris Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Awards and installation and said goodbye to outgoing board president Ignacio Valdivia, who served six years total and three as president. The chamber brings together the best minds and talents of the community to solve common problems and to improve the area where we live and work. Congratulations to this year's Board of Directors and all Business Award winners and nominees. Thank you for everything you do for the Paris community. And there is a new disc golf course over at Paragon Park and our very own Serena Marie stopped by to check it out. Now that the weather's clearing up, it's a good time to go and visit all of these open air spaces. Serena, what do you have for us today? Did you know that Paris has its own disc golf course? Yeah, that's right. It's own disc golf course. Stop by Paragon Park at 264 Spectacular Bid Street in Paris, California. Bring your Frisbee disc and have a spectacular time. See you there. Thanks, Serena. What is Measure A? It's a measure on the November 7th special election that aids in the improvement, operation, maintenance, repair, and or restoration of Paris public roads. Paris residents would not pay the tax as an only distribution and industrial businesses would be required to pay. A business license tax is an annual tax that businesses pay for doing business within the city limits of Paris. And again, Measure A would only be paid by businesses and not the residents of Paris or visitors. Over the past 15 years, the number of large distribution facilities and certain industrial businesses has grown, which has increased the city's costs relating to the improvement, operation, maintenance, repair, and restoration of these roads. If approved, Measure A will provide approximately $4 million annually to aid in Paris roads, and all Measure A funds would be controlled locally and include annual audits to ensure every penny is allocated appropriately. Additionally, Measure A funds cannot be taken away by the state or used for other purposes. To learn more about Measure A and everything that it stands for in this upcoming election, please visit cityofparis.org slash Measure A. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Serena Marie with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. Well, the tropical storm has passed and Paris will dry out quickly as warm temperatures return this weekend. The wind will blow mostly out of the northwest as we return to normal summer temperatures and ample sunshine. The UV index will begin to rise, which brings the possibility of dehydration and sunburn. So make sure you wear your sunblock and carry water if you're going outside. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Serena. Tropical storm last week and triple digits this week. All right, wrapping up today, a couple items before we go. We had to cancel the past week due to the weather, but are you ready to relieve some stress and get back to working on your health? Well, you've hit just the right place. Join us and register for free yoga in the park at Foss Field on Monday, August 28th 
at 5 p.m. Space is limited, so register on the Civic Rec portal on the main page of our website. And mark your calendars now for our annual Fall Cleanup Day and Shredathon event coming up on Saturday, September 2nd from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Get rid of your clutter for free before the holidays. Residents can participate in a Shredathon at the main City Hall campus or in the trash drop off at the Southern California Railway Museum, located at 2201 South A Street. The Shredathon and e waste event allows residents to bring documents for shredding and e waste, but does not allow for stiff metal, plastic bags, DVDs, and CDs, if you still have those, batteries, light bulbs, and or appliances. The trash drop-off is limited to nine tires maximum per household and no rims, as well as no hazardous materials, explosives, or paints or solvents will be accepted in this disposal process. This event is for parish residents only and proof of residency is required. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale and that's the Muse.